Hello there. It's make your mind up time. So when is the SNP going to make a definite decision on this issue? The SNP, well much of it, says it is absolutely determined to have a second Scottish independence referendum at the earliest opportunity, whatever Westminster says, although its leadership does seem to be dragging its heels. And if they are so confident about the result, then the big question of which currency an independent Scotland would use needs to be settled right quick. But they can't seem to come to a consensus on this, except... Let's muddle through a referendum without answering that question properly and hope for the best. Their party conference delegates say they want to rapidly introduce their own new Scottish currency. But Ian Blackford, their leader in Westminster, seems to think they'll be using the pound for many years to come. Surely they have a set policy by now, if they're going to plough ahead with their IndyRef2 next year. Now, Blackford said that keeping the pound will provide stability. The whole point about being independent is to create the circumstances for growth and to take responsibility for improving the economic prospects for Scotland. Well, some in the SNP have always liked UK money, haven't they? And he went on to say they could use fiscal i.e. taxation methods, to drive up investment to improve growth and increase living standards. We don't need to change the currency to do that, he said. I read all that as meaning tax the rich, etc. Trouble is that the UK has previously stated that it will not join in with a currency union with an independent Scotland, something that would have given the SNP a seat at the Treasury and at the Bank of England. As a result, sterling will be managed for the benefit of England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Scotland would no longer be a consideration. That would still leave the Scottish economy dangling on the hook of UK monetary decisions, but in a much worse position than the SNP claims they're in now. And I'm not sure how a country with an economy based on a currency that they have no say over could qualify for EU membership. They might as well sell all the sterling they have and buy euros. At least they would be using the currency of their preferred partners or just bite the bullet and go for their own currency and take the years and maybe decades of volatility until their economy is in a position to apply for EU membership. But the one advantage of sterlingization, as they call it, for the SNP is that they could continue to blame Westminster and the UK for all the ills of Scotland. But that won't help build relations with their closest neighbour, will it? but I'm not sure the SNP care about that. After all, I've never heard their politicians refer to the rest of the UK, England in particular, as their friend and partner, etc. But they might find they need to should they ever get their independence.